Hello friends, this is Umesh and in this video I will going to show you how we can connect DHT11 which is a digital temperature and humidity sensor we will going to connect to Arduino Uno. So what you can see on my screen is upper right corner there is a circuit connection between DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor module with Arduino Uno. So if we look at this sensor module DHT11 module carefully what we will uh, end up seeing is it has a three pins uh, named VCC data and ground so the connection is really simple as you can see on my screen the vcc pin from dht11 module will going to connect to the 5 volt pin of arduino if you can follow my mouse cursor you can see the red wire connected to vcc from dht11 module with the 5 volt on arduino uno then we have a data pin from the sensor module which will going to connect to the digital pin 2 of arduino uno you can see if you follow my mouse cursor which is represented by orange wire and then there is only one pin left which is ground so you can connect this ground pin from the module to the ground pin of arduino uno you can see the black jumper wire represent the connection between the ground of dht11 module and arduino so once you are connected with this pins you can uh, ready to you know uh, install the libraries on your environment uh, Arduino IDE and start writing a code so we will go to sketch on Arduino and go to include library and then hit on manage libraries and this will present as this uh, library manager you have to wait until it loads all the libraries so we will wait and then we will go to filter your search box and we should search for DHT11 which is a name of the sensor and I am going to use this simple DHT library that WinLin from WinLin and I have tested it's quite a bit reliable you can get exact data what you expect out of the sensor so I will select this simple DHT library and hit on this install button and it, it will take a couple of seconds and you will see your library is now installed you can see now simple DHT by WinLin and it is installed so we can close this library manager and then we will go to file examples and we will scroll down until we see simple dht so i can see simple dht here and i will going to click on this dht11 default sketch okay so let me hit on this so once you open the sketch i will close the earlier sketch and i have this newly open sketch i will resize the code which will fit into my screen so it will look a little bit better okay and as you can see it also has given the connection so your vcc from arduino connects to 5 volt your ground of arduino will going to ground on sensor module and the data which is a signal pin will going to connect the digital pin to of arduino okay so that's you can have these connections here as well and then what we will going to do in the sketch it's it's a ready sketch basically we don't have to do anything but i am going to change this baud rate which is 9600 because i see with 96 baud rate 9600 baud rate this sensor works pretty well so then what i will going to do is i will remove this line of code okay and rather i just um, check this entire code from the loop function and i will going to put into the setup function okay and i will going to say like temperature and humidity data okay and uh, then i will going to talk about code bit later but now i think we don't need this and i also don't need the sample okay i don't want this to be printed on my screen to be very honest and then we will going to save the sketch save as and i will going to save on my desktop the hd11 with arduino and hit on save button and your code is now saved okay so i have to check whether there's anything left okay it looks cool so i will going to upload the sketch first and then we're going to talk about the code bit later first let's check whether we get something out of this so go to tools first and make sure you have the right board selected Arduino Uno then go to com and then select the com port and then upload the sketch
it looks like the code is uploaded you can see on the lower left corner done uploading so let's open the serial monitor and see the data coming from the sensor so as you can see on my screen i have a 27 degree centigrade and 38 percentage of humidity humidity is always in the percentage and the temperature is in the degree centigrade from this digital temperature and humidity sensor so the thing is you might wonder when i upload this code i am printing this so why this temperature and humidity have not printed here the problem here is we have to take this line of code and we have to put this line of code below the serial begin so because the serial begin initialize um, so you are function bit later that's why we cannot able to see this and it is always good practice you know when you uh, read the data from the sensor i will going to prefer to put this to 50 milliseconds of delay right and that's a good practice because we have to give some decent amount of delay when it will going to connect and initialize this dht11 sensor first time and read the data from the sensor so let me upload the sketch once again and see what happens now so it looks it's uploading yeah in the lower left corner done uploading so let me open a serial monitor and uh, let's see this time you can see temperature and humidity data and it is now showing us the data in the way we want right so this is how we will going to read the data from dht11 uh, sensor module using arduino uno so the question is why i have i have not talked about this code i mean i would going to make an uh, entire new video um in uh, in which i'm going to talk about how to create a library uh this dht11 library uh for you from scratch using the data sheet of dht11 sensor but this is a quick video i just wanted to show like how to use the sensor and i think this is fair enough to show you the data um coming from the sensor now you can use this temperature sensor temperature and humidity sensor in your project i hope you will find this video educational and entertaining see you in the next video bye bye